Wow. I don't even know where to start, but let me first say thank you. I have known you many, many years. Yes. And um, for those that don't know, that watch this, um, this is the legendary Deja La Perla. Hey. Or just legendary Deja. Yes. If you are part of this ballroom scene or someone that watches performance, you definitely should know who this lady is. She just got, gave a little, a little, you know, little hand, so she's a little, you know, worn. I'm but mad. um, this this interview is very special to me. Before we start, because I've known you so long, and mm -hmm. you, when I when I decided to call this spotlights, you know, I feel like your story is a definite spotlight for people to learn history, but also the people out there that can maybe identify with your journey mm -hmm. that you could help. So let's take it back first. <laughs> let's take it back. So, you know, okay. let's, let's talk about Deja, the beginning. When did you come into the scene? Uh, Thanksgiving Eve, 1995 mm -hmm. at the clubhouse, Wednesday night. Okay, that's your former shell, right? Yeah. Okay. But you didn't come out as Deja. I mean, no. I okay. Didn't come out as Deja. So, what was the first category that you walked, and what was the first house you were in? Um, Butch Queen Vogue Femme, mm -hmm. and I believe I was in Ms. Rahi then. Well, my first night I wasn't in any house. Mm -hmm. I became a Chanel. Okay. And for those that don't know, you ate up VQ and VM <laughs> at the Revlon Bowl '97. Yeah, I beat. 13 Butch Queens. Mm, that night? Yes, that night. Okay. No breather, no stopping. One right after the other. Okay, so p people that don't know, you you was walking, you know, that category. Did, mm -hmm. You was soft and cunt, correct? Yes. Okay. Yes. So, I don't really want to go to, let's get into Deja. How did Deja, how did you become Deja? Well, um, I always knew that I wanted to be a woman. Mm -hmm. The first um, training I seen was Tyra, and I didn't know that Tyra Law. Tyra Law, mm -hmm. yes. I didn't know it was possible for a guy to become a woman. Mm -hmm. So when I saw her, I was like amazed. She was stunning, mm -hmm. and I knew then that I could do it. Mm -hmm. So that summer, I got in drags and never got out. Okay. Was there a process? Like, did you do it by yourself or did someone help you get in drag? Um, in the beginning, I did a lot on my own. Mm -hmm. um, I went back to school in drag. At the time, I was just dragged. But I knew that that's how I was going to stay. Mm -hmm. So, from there, I just started to evolve, you know. Um, that's 1997 I, for those that know. Yeah, yes, 1997. Just so they can know the timeline of the evolution. Mm -hmm. I had separation with with um, my immediate family. My mom had been an addict and, you know, she departed and I ventured off. Uh, so I've been on my own since 97. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what was the first house that you went to? Um, first house I went to was Chanel. Okay. Um, I walked drag space. Uh, at, was that the first Legend Ball when Octavia came back? 97, yeah. 97, 97 yes. Mm -hmm. I walked Jack's face that night. Mm -hmm. um, Rose Chanel at the time, and still as I can say, somewhat my mother. Mm -hmm. And from there, I went to the house of Ms. Rahi. And, you know, I consider house to be like a family thing, a family mm -hmm. oriented. And I knew. What attracted that, you to that house? Um, Kelly. <laughs> Monique, Ray Ray, um, and they were they were my family as well. So, you know, I ventured off to being with them just because I felt a connection there. Mm -hmm. You know, um, being in the house of Chanel, it wasn't bad, but I had things that I was going through that they couldn't relate to because I never brought it up to them. Right. So, you know, Monique was really close to me. <laughs> Kelly, you know, mm -hmm. I didn't want to say, you know, whatever. Right. But she was very close to me. Like, we all hung out. Y'all had a very deep relationship. A like very deep mm -hmm. relationship. We know each other, family, the mm -hmm. kids and all. So, at that time um, that I became a Ms. Rahi, 
I started to meet other people because I used to dance as well. Right. So I already knew Ray Ray and like him and Zick Fawn and mm -hmm. all of them. So, you know, it was kind of like we came from the same place. So mm -hmm. it was, it was really... When you say dance, that's the All-Stars you're talking about, right? Yeah, at the okay. All-Stars. Right. Yeah, I used to street dance as well. Mm -hmm. um, so with that is that, you know, I felt some kind of connection with them because, you know, we grew up together. So mm -hmm. they were my family, being that, you know, my immediate family I had ventured from. Like, I was in and out. Okay. So you're Miss Rahi, 1997. Then, you know, for I just said, when you're for Michelle, mm -hmm. you were soft and kind. Right. So let's talk about the evolution into the history of Deja. What was your performance when you first started walking film queen performance? I was dramatic. <laughs> so what, what what made you be dramatic in the beginning? Because we know the beginning days. And because I thought that that was vulgar for the film queen. Right. <laughs> and not only that, because I had dance, I knew a lot of things to do. Mm -hmm. Like uh, the six o'clock dip. I don't know if y'all know about that, mm -hmm. but that's something that Laura and I did because I learned it in ballet. Mm -hmm. um, Explain you know, that dip. I, was, I know the dip, of course, but explain right. that dip to the people. Um, it's when you, when you, with the six o'clock is that when one leg is down mm. and the other leg is straight up. Right. So you actually lean forward, mm. and on the hop, your leg will go ha, mm -hmm. and then you will go into the dip. That was your, that was one of your moves. Definitely. Yeah, that was mm -hmm. one of my first moves. Mm -hmm. Um. So I was really, really, really dramatic. I mean, cartwheels and all that. And at all that, that time, I I used to change my clothes, mm -hmm. like, cause I always went to the ball like I was going to some extravagant show. But I would put on my sweatpants and sneakers. Mm -hmm. It kind of didn't work out for me. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Let's, let's not even say that. But one thing you always had, even when you were dramatic, mm -hmm. was your hands. Like, yeah. You always had that hands, no matter what. It, whether it was when you were dramatized or you mm -hmm. was cunt, you always had your hands. Yeah, I just watched a video from <laughs> Atlanta. And you were Revlon? Yes! Yeah. <laughs> I knew you know what you were I already knew. Yeah. <laughs> and I watched that. And it was so weird seeing myself so young. Because that night I walked face two. Right. Yeah, I walked face that night. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I beat Nikki, mm -hmm. you know, the one that was supposed to be big there. And then the code came that had just won a pageant. Mm -hmm. So I kind of know it was political. Mm -hmm. um, so, but then I, I, I love to Vogue. So, <laughs> you got out there seeing myself, like back then, it, I was amazed, but I was kind of like, oh my God, look at you. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like a blast from the past. Mm -hmm. You see a ghost of yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I was, I was dramatic. Um, what I mean by it didn't work out for me was because that I got tired of hurting myself mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and it just... Well, let's not go to that part yet, the, evol the, the evolution of the Vogue. Let me ask you this. Back then, who did you look up to for a performance, you know, when you were, you know, molding your Who did I admire? Who did you admire? Um, wow. I love that correction. Who did you admire? I admired um, Albert Revlon. Mm hmm I admired um, Christina mm -hmm. um, and Alyssa. Okay. And Alyssa. You know, because those people were performers. Like, it was always a show. Mm -hmm. And that's how I view the ballroom scene. Like, mm -hmm. time for the big show. So, it's kind of like you get, you get out there and you want to perform like you just mm -hmm. you're in a whole nother world and you're on this stage and you know and the audience is, is so dark mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying like if you sit on the stage and you look into the audience you a person really doesn't mm -hmm. you know they just kind of go off of where they what they hear right and what's going on so okay yeah those three people were were a main factor to me um, because I really gravitated towards the girls who walk face, mm -hmm. like Cheyenne, mm -hmm. Vanessa, Rose, you know, those were people, especially, especially Vanessa. Mm -hmm. She was like, I don't know. It was like, I remember how much Becky, oh, Vanessa. I remember yes. That. Oh my Becky. God. I love Vanessa. And I remember every moment of her, um, as well as, as coming to where she stopped walking. Mm -hmm. Um, with Alyssa, 
I, I just, I saw like Taifa. Mm. That's what made me look up Alyssa mm. because Taifa Hands was nasty. Mm -hmm. Nasty. Taifa Miss Rahi Icon. Oh my mm -hmm. God. Like, and you know, nobody generally taught me how to go. Mm -hmm. But I could say Dollar Moon Revlon was the one who introduced me to it. With Kino, yeah, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When when they were doing um the Witch Doctor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that was one of the first songs I heard and mm -hmm. you know, being in the All Stars, the the street dance, mm -hmm. um, we incorporated into that. Right. But it was always the hands that I, I loved. The hands was my thing. 